Hey guys, Cruel Blonde Wave. I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we're back with It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Last week we had a pub crawl, karaoke, and. Korea! Uh, yes. Yeah, so what? North Korea Are we problem. We skipping that part? Sorry. We Ish- solved it was a the situation. Issue. Also, we had a duster. And not for nothing, Charlie was wearing the duster whenever he first met the 12 year old. Maybe that's what attracted her at first. Maybe uh, she thought he was a child because it was oversized clothing. Maybe. Oh my god. When I was a kid. That must be his dad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe Sadly. that's what it is. Maybe. When I was 12, the duster was cool. Mm-hmm. Like, super cool. It's still cool, but when I was a kid, it was way cool. I knew no, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. several people who... The Undertaker? Come on. Hella cool. So you're telling me... I knew me several you people. Were I don't even have to continue. I was about ready to list five, but I said The Undertaker, and I feel like I've made my point. So like everyone just... What is he escaping? This isn't the... What's Nakamura? Nakamura? This is totally us, by the way, trying to discuss the show. Yeah. We get into this argument. I don't want to talk to this corporate drone any longer than we have to, okay? Fine. I'll be sitting, are they I'll sitting be, there? I'll be sitting in the room. I think we should. I think we should. I think we should. I think we should. But I think we'd all agree that we should at least hear this guy out, right? Yes. Yeah, yes sure. so. Let's hear the guy out. Okay. We'll hear him out. We're agreed. Sir, please continue. Yeah. I <laughs> fucking knew it. Oh, okay. Right. Um, as I was saying, when, when I went down to your bar the other day, nobody appeared to be working there. I mean, there were people there, but they were just customers who seemed to be serving themselves. Right, we're out and about a lot, bro. Get to the point. Right, well, we here at Media Restaurant Group really think that the location of your bar would be a perfect spot for one of our oldies rock cafes. Shit, dude, how do I explain this to you? Um, this bar, it's who we are, all right? Amen. It's all we've got. Yeah, you can understand that. Because you corporate pigs think you can just buy everything. But you can't, can't buy everything. We you know you're kind. Everything. Your big businesses just going all over town, swallowing up all the small guys. Well, guess what, pal? Patty's pub can't be bought. Okay. Well, if you would just please take a look at our offer. We'll take a look at it. Oh. Sold! <laughs> the gang sells out. I would have negotiated a little harder. Depends how much. What do you number was? What would be the number to sell Blind Wave for you right now? Go. For Blind Wave? Yeah. Jeez. I don't know. Right? I don't know if I could do it. Is it the number I get or the number we all get? You get. Is it the number we split or the number I get? Yeah. yeah, yeah. If I had that much money, I would just sit around and watch TV with my friends. (laughs) And we wouldn't have to film ourselves? (laughs) No, I like it. It's fun. I know. What? We're the shareholders. You own nothing. Are you serious? I have been with you guys since the very beginning. I would think of Patty's as sort of an Enron type situation. You see, we're gonna cut and run, and we're gonna leave you out there broken jobless. It's nothing personal. It's just business. It's a business thing. It does not matter one bit because I'm not selling the bar. How much could it have been? I feel like it's only like a hundred thousand. <laughs> Frank is a shrewd businessman. Yeah. It must be good. It's a lot. Wait just one second. We have to milk this. Of course, I don't know how much they lose in this place. Sure. We need to be wooed. Like maybe. What? Uh, no, we're saying wooed. Wood. Yeah. Get some wood, we'll build something cool, and then we'll go get the money. That doesn't have anything to do with what we're talking about, what? Charlie. We're talking about being wooed by this corporate yes, guy. Yes, just, no, it's a waste of time. All right, How are look, you going to be wooed? Let's just. How are you going to be wooed? Go Gosh. Sell this bar for right, we'll see, right. They're not even reading. Let's go. What the hell am I supposed to do? She's going to sabotage this. Yeah. They just turn off the lights. There's people in here drinking. I saw. I swear there I saw one guy. They're drinking. They just leave and they... Well, he said, like, I went down there the other day and the Uh customers were serving themselves. (laughs) They got stuff to do. Hey, hi. Are you applying for a job here? Here? Recognize her. Waitress. Gross. No, I would never work here. I I would say her name, but I don't know what it is. Waitress. I'm assistant managing. I thought you worked at the coffee shop. Um, yeah, I do still. Okay. A Starbucks moved in across the street. Did she dye her hair? Right across mm-hmm. the street. Well, so. It was dark Okay, that's why. So. Do you think that you can get me a job? Here? Yeah, I thought you weren't applying. No, that was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> Starting off on a great foot. Uh, Assistant manager. No, I know you do it. I don't mind. It's fine. I'm going to grab a beer, though, while you're doing that. Come get me and um, give me all my stuff. Uh, I'll start. I don't... Thank you so much. What? This is awesome. 
What? Did you go to high school or? <laughs> it's not so on there. <laughs> you guys ready to sell? Whoa, 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 pal. Listen, we have terms. Okay. What are your terms? We'd like a plaque of us to be hung in the new restaurant to pay tribute and preserve our legacy. Now, it could also be a statue, okay? Something real classy, though. Uh, something like where those American soldiers are raising that flag up. And that Iwo Jima? War where we saved Japan. Oh, correct. Hiroshima. Uh, no. Actually, no. Hiroshima. I'm pretty sure Hiroshima's in Japan, dude. It is. Why the hell would we drop a nuclear bomb on Japan? They make all our cars, dude. They're our friends. Not my car. I buy American. Oh, oh my gosh. Shit, Frank, and yeah, and yeah, yeah, you're making a big mistake, Frank. See, Japan makes the best cars. Yeah. Well, in Germany. Germany yeah, but you know the problem with Germany is they don't make enough hybrids. That's that's exactly. it's, it's like, this poor guy. Excuse me. Is that it? Not even close. Oh, oh my gosh. We don't want to be the ones to blow up the bar. I'm sorry. Now, don't worry. We've already worked out everyone's part. You see... Mac here, he's gonna hold the spool. Charlie's gonna do the countdown, and Frank and I, we're gonna push the handle down. Oh, cup hole out. We gotta let the chopper go. No, no. They're gonna. No, they're gonna. Excuse me, sir. I would like a helicopter flyby. I don't need to be in it. I just want your corporate chopper to fly by my apartment window real low and fast. That's it. Okay. Okay. You know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna pull the deal off the table. Fine. Then we'll go with the original offer. No. Less well, than something a little less than the original. Oh, no. He's pulling his head into less than I'm going to go ahead than. and offer you nothing. <laughs> you promised that you would not bring up the yeah. You're the boss of me, all right? So well, technically, Charlie, I am the boss of you because I own half your shares. That's when? You sold me half your shares of the bar for goods and services. Well, wait, wait, wait a second. You've definitely given me half your shares too, dude. Well, maybe I gave you guys a couple shares my back was against the wall and needed a little breathing room. Bro, you gave me a shitload of shares one time for a half a sandwich. What are you guys doing? Is this a host job where you're hosting me down? Dude, you host yourself now. You host yourself up now. Now I host yourself. Come on. Okay. What do you want me to do? I don't care. Yeah, get a job. Get a job? Yeah. Just get a job? Alright, strap on my job helmet and squeeze out into a job cannon and fire off into job land where jobs grow on jobbies! Now we're wasting time. We need to get out of here. <laughs> you know what? I'm out of here. I can't stand you guys. Boom! Now we got rid of that dead weight. Let's come up with a strategy. Yeah, what's your plan? I'm thinking if this fat cat is not gonna woo us, then we gotta woo here. What? No! Yeah. It's the opposite! This is I thought you guys were taking me to dinner. Come awkward. on. Who doesn't like to watch a naked woman swing around on a pole? Gay man for one. Yeah. I'm gay. No. What you so <laughs> big and tough? You do not come across as gay. You don't look like a gay guy. No. That's because he's a bear. Huh? Yeah, he's a bear. You see, some gay guys are twinks and others are bears. This gay guy's a bear. By the way, we're totally cool with that. To each his own. Wait, wait, I'm a little confused here. What's a twink? Uh, oh, man. Now they're going into another... Oh, no. I'm too muscular. I would be a bear. Uh, don't think so, bro. Not hairy enough. Smooth. I, I would be a bear. No, no. See, I don't think you'd be a bear either. As a matter of fact, I don't know what you would be because you're definitely not a twink. I'd be a top, that's for sure. Maybe. Can a twink be a top or is that reserved for bears? I'm sure there's a great deal of switching back and forth, but I think more often than not, bears are tops. Uh, unless they happen to be power bottoms. Yeah, we just go into some kind of... Bottom. A power bottom is a bottom that is capable of receiving an enormous amount of power. Actually, Mac, you got it backwards. The power bottom is actually generating all the power by doing most of the work. Does the power have to do with the size or the strength of the bottom? Now, Dennis, I've heard that He's speed so has something to do with it. Speed has everything to do with it. You see, the speed of the bottom informs the top how much pressure he's supposed to apply. Speed's the name of the game. Right, buddy? Gone. Yep. God damn it. <laughs> he just keeps, they keep going in these random conversations. How did she get this job? She didn't thought of that. Sounds like a whole thing. You know what I'll do? If they start to get empty, I'll just grab some from other tables. Um, no, because then someone else is doing your work for you. Yeah, which makes my job easier. No, that's not how we do it here. You actually have to follow the rules. We're very strict, which means you probably shouldn't be drinking beer. Well, you probably should get used to it because I'm gonna do it anyway. Yeah, perfect. There you are. Look, how oh, did I? I am plays like that. Yeah. Gotta hit rock bottom, need a job. So D, can you hook me up the job here or They're gonna ruin this bar? I will give you a job. You can be the assistant sanitation apprentice. Oh, 
Oh, hey. nice. What, yeah. is, what does that guy do? That guy is going to clean up vomit and shit and put out grease fires. So, Deke, let me need a beer. You can't drink beer on the job. You can get your own beer. I'm going to need a beer and then take the edge off. And then I'll get started doing the fires. Take the edge off? <laughs> Doing the fires. <laughs> <laughs> Doing the fires. Oh okay. Oh my gosh. I need this job. Wow. Well, fine. Okay, fine. Fire. I do. Okay. Okay. No idea why Dennis thinks you're so cool. Um, did you say that Dennis thinks I'm cool? Oh, What's that? No. Did you say that Dennis thinks I'm cool? Yeah, this really poor cool. girl. Fire her. So we, we recap the day with each other. When I tell him about this, what? I feel like, no. <laughs> we recap. You don't need to tell him that this happened. No. No, because if you tell him that I'm cool, then... Maybe we can forget that this whole thing ever happened. Deal. Why does he have his... He looks like a weird firefighter. Oh no, she's gonna Otherwise, give her. We're doing all the work okay, for you. You're getting a little close. Well, no, I think I was just stretching out no. and maybe you leaned in a little bit. I don't think so, okay. <laughs> maybe you <laughs> leaned in a bit? Didn't mean to do anything inappropriate. I was just trying to mm -hmm. all right. help out here. Okay, you know what? Back to work, Back everyone. Back to work, everybody. Back to work. Back to work. <laughs> Please drop the act. She is not into you and you're making me you look bad. You're making yourself look bad. Your tables are pathetic, dude. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna impress her. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Well, what's going on here? What is going on here? Frank, who are these guys? Oh, these are the Yellow Jacket Boys. My old street gang from the 50s. What? what exactly are your old pathetic friends doing here, Frank? The corporate guy decided to buy the bookstore down the block. So me and the boys thought we'd do a little loitering. That's dumb. That is a dumb, stupid, dumb idea. No, dumb. Dennis, it's not that dumb of an idea. Look, if we can establish that there's a seedy element outside of that bookstore, the offer comes back to us. Exactly. You know what you guys There's a bunch of old guys in leather jackets. What are they gonna do? They're intimidating. Please tell me that you have another one of those jackets. Not for you, bitch. And I will have you know I am taking this place up the butt with a little scheme I like to call D's double drop. Oh, you're doing the double drop here too, huh? You know about this? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You always used to take the difference out of your purse. Uh, <laughs> are there always this many chicks here? Yeah, of oh no, is he gonna try to get a job here too? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're gonna ruin this place. Oh no, the manager will hire him. Yeah, of course she is. So, uh, tell me about Patty's pub. Are you kidding me? I think I need to know what your duties are. Surely, I'm not gonna answer any of your. Do anything? I am not gonna answer any of your questions. All right, just give me a job. Really? Well, does not respond well to authority. Oh God, damn it! God damn it! Language is a bit of an issue here at the Old Rock Cafe. Charlie, why? Why is that issue? What are you doing in my office? Little research is. uh... Poor girl. Looking good. How many times are you going to ruin her life? Yes. Well, first of all, let me just apologize to you for never calling. She should know better. I know. Because I'm looking for a bartending job. But it's still their fault. Maybe I should then I'll go and just get me a uniform. Okay. She keeps such a great hair. What is her name again? Right. I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> what is her name? What's your name? The, the plan checks. That is not going to inspire. Dude, they're so <laughs> cool. <laughs> Outside the bookshop. Hey, listen, would you sing us a song? We don't sing, guy. Oh, yeah, we do. We'll sing. We'll sing for you. Right, boys? You guys sing? Of course we sing. We're a gang. <laughs> no, no, no. Gangsters don't sing. What are you talking about? You ever hear a gangster rap? We're not going to intimidate anybody if we're entertaining the whole goddamn neighborhood. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's his actual coffee, though. <laughs> Get rid of them! 
Yeah. Lady. Was that your name? What are you people doing at my house? Well, actually, sir, we are here just to talk. I'm not buying your bar. Look, pal, you better not mess with us. You see Hawkey over here? Uh -huh. He's crazy. I'm not sure what he's capable of. Is that right? You got something to say, old man? <laughs> oh, Hawkey. Oh, Hawkey's dying. Corporate's on their way down here right now. To Babe, don't do that to me. I feel like we were getting so close, sweet baby. Oh my sweet gosh, you're baby. so disgusting. What is it? Beautiful. Oh my god. That's what I call it. You're beautiful all the time. Wow. Does you not want to be called beautiful? Not one of you guys want to call me. Not right here. Okay, these are the two that were stealing. I know you. And you. You're the guys who are on that dive bar down the street. You're the corporate dude with the helicopter. Right. Listen, here's the thing. I had a really strange night. Last night, your friends in the doo-wop group that showed up in my house and attacked me. One of them died on my doorstep, and it just it sort of put me in a funk. So I'm gonna clean house, and you're all fired. <gasps> what? Yeah. Well, what? Well, man, how does that you? Fired. I'm not fired. I'm not fired, right? Did you did you hire these people? She sure did. Well, she she hired me. Oh my gosh. Really, you're an idiot because these people are psychopaths. But no, you're not fired. I'm just kidding. You are. Everybody get the hell out of my restaurant. <sighs> Charlie, really? Now how am I gonna pay for my rent next month, huh? Don't worry about it. Come live with me, all right? Oh, go to hell! Whoa! Oh, oh, yes. How is it always Charlie's fault? Fair well out shots. Fast hard life. Some stars shine so bright that they burn out before their time. I'm gonna miss you, Hawkey. <laughs> I was gonna say, that's an updraft. Ready, boys? <laughs> he was 90? Or no, Why? 80. 80. Why? The Yellow Jackets were the Mighty Echoes. They were really a doo-wop group. Yeah. I kept trying to watch. I couldn't watch them the one because it kept cutting a lot. But that last one, I was able to put, yeah. like, like, I'm like, how close? What are their parts? Is it, the, are they yeah. actually singing it? Or is it kind of like we're just getting coverage? Because sometimes it's like uh, when you watch a band, right? Mm -hmm. Sure. And you can tell, like... They're not actually you're not drumming, matched up you're not, to what's yeah. really, but it, you know, it's cutting between, and it looks like kind of. So I don't know if it's like that or not, but like uh, what they did for The Simpsons when they had a uh, a barbershop quartet episode, they had a real barbershop quartet sing, and then they just had the the voice actors do their character voices, mm -hmm. and then they like mixed them in, mm -hmm. so the harmony sounded great, but you could also hear. The real the, voices, the in there. tones of the the characters mixed in as well, so it sounded really it sounded really good mm. the way they did it. Mm. But it was actually like a octet. Man, what I was waiting for, and it would have been funny if it would have worked out. But like, if they would have come to this place, which at one point I was like, wait, is this the same place they're wanting to put in yeah. at their patties? It said it's an oldies rock cafe. Yeah, the yeah the oldies rock cafe. Yeah, mm -hmm. it kind of made me think of. I don't know, uh, like the what, Hollywood Rock, whatever it was, cafe. Uh, the was Hard called. Rock Cafe. Hard Rock Har Cafe, yeah. I thought you were talking about like the the one where they have the props and shit that we talked about like a Planet few weeks Hollywood. back. Yeah, they have that, yeah, I guess it's that too, right? Sure. But Yeah, no, I think it is supposed to be like a like a Hard Rock. But it was, I was just waiting for them to like all get hired in this place and then just run it into the ground and then for patties to take off and do well. <laughs> Because that would require patties to do well. Because it's which attractive. Is against that, the point of the show. It is. Uh, yeah. I, I just love it. Like, what the hell? Yeah. Well, the point of patties is to drag everything else yeah. around it down. Patties only ever does well when they've accidentally done something or if their scam is about to blow up. Mm. 
We never got to know the amount. I wanted to know how much he offered. I was going to say like like $500,000. Like maybe? what's the amount that they needed? Because I don't know. Probably, that's like, it seems like premium real estate yeah, in the city. Sure. But they've said before. Well, I guess I was like, saying like maybe they get that each. I don't know. Maybe. They said probably before not. where it's, it's like, oh, well, we only lot. have, you know, we, you know, man, we own $200 tonight. Ah, oh, man, that's the best yeah. night we've had, you know, in two weeks or <laughs> something. So it's like, it doesn't seem like they pull in yeah. much money. So how much do they lose consistently? So it's like, I don't know. Would well, I'll tell you what, Charlie's apartment doesn't cost much. No. <laughs> no. Is it not just one room? <laughs> yeah, it's one room. Like, there's a door that's all blocked up uh-huh. and stuff. It's, but like, it's like boarded up. <laughs> I don't know if they have, like... They have a pull-out? I don't think it's a bedroom. Yeah, they have a pull-out sofa. They have, like, a futon and a, a hot plate. They have a hot plate, is but there, no bathroom. I was, is there even a bathroom in there? <laughs> have they ever gone to the bathroom? I don't think so. Like, does he... They oh said that God. he's... In this episode, she says about how he stinks. Like, because he doesn't, like, a shower? No, he doesn't shower. Like... He doesn't wash his clothes. Him and Frank used to share that place. Do they still? They do. Frank still lives there. I have to bite my tongue, because I know all the things that happen in that apartment. I don't know exactly what you've seen versus what I know. <laughs> it's a hell of a place. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't get it. Gosh. They shot uh, the... The... Political campaign video there. Hmm. Like the flag and mm-hmm. the background and everything. It was terrible. And the terrorist uh, the ter- thing when they terrorist. were going to blow up the other yeah. building, right? Or when they did blow up the other building? Yep. When they were. Which they wanted to blow up another building here. <laughs> they wanted to blow up the bar. The bar. Yeah. Patties. And a statue or a plaque. And a helicopter, and a helicopter flyby. I love that the show mocks Dennis for not knowing her real name, but has never said her real name. No, they didn't. And never will. It makes me feel bad, too. It makes me feel like a bad person. Because <laughs> you don't know her name. <laughs> well, at one point, I forget what I was saying exactly. Like, oh, come on, lady. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't no, know. I, know. I don't want to call her just waitress. But that's... I just, that's, I just think it's so funny. Because, well, like, that she... actress can go around and be like, I've been in the show for so long. Legacy character. Huge in the show. Who do you play? Waitress. <laughs> waitress oh, and this time one. she's manager. Yeah, manager. so you can just wait now. I suppose so. Dude, I can't imagine how annoying it must be to like that lawyer just sitting there trying to have a conversation with these guys. Talk about all that. Want to hear about like what their thoughts are really? It's gotta or, like, be a like, specific category. It's gotta be. And they like, just yeah. go off on some random tangent yeah. for like way too long. Right? Like I don't even care about this. Why are you talking about it's this? It's gotta be like when my YouTube viewer is really into an episode. Yeah, of and we don't talk about it nearly <laughs> enough. <laughs> and we we start talking about you know having to me in high school. <laughs> Exactly what I thought about. That reminds me of this other time. Yeah. And we don't talk about the thing that reminded us about it. Uh, yeah, especially like if you and Rick aren't here. Sometimes Aaron and I will get into. Oh, yeah. That one time like, there was an episode of. Was it Community or was it this? Where we were trying to like. You were talking about cutting a hole in your pocket to reach. To like itch your dick. We couldn't do it. What? You remember that? No. I do. I don't remember that conversation. Yep. What? That was within the last year. There's no way we talked about that. Yeah. That's what? ridiculous. We did. No. And I was trying to reach mine, but I couldn't because I didn't have a hole. What? Yeah. Do you have a hole in your dick? No. Everyone has a hole in their dick. What? Not everyone. Apparently not. There's probably like a burn victim and it's sealed over. You have to have a hole in your dick. If you don't have a hole in your dick, then you have no dick. What? Can you have a dick without a hole? Do you have to pee? I'm gonna check my notes. Do I have anything else? Nope. Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. If you enjoyed this reaction, but more importantly, the discussion and how we ended it, let us know. Hit the like button. If I see a lot of likes, I know. Everyone's got a hole in their dick. What? I don't know if that's true. Maybe we'll have no likes on this video. Ha <laughs> ha